signals back, a little bit of Carly Minogue on the way to a Sunday morning stroll. Uh, off to Fernworthy Reservoir today. Um, have a little look around, park up at the Warren House Inn, and uh, yeah, go and have a look at the reservoir. Right, back in a bit. Another one of Dartmoor's super intelligent animals. <laughs> um, you can see how much grass there is on Dartmoor, but no, they prefer to stand in the middle of the road. Just pulled up uh, Warren House Inn, and I don't know if you can see that. It's actually snowing. Uh, a little bit more like sleep, but happy days, eh? Hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes down heavy. All right, so. A quick look at the map, uh, not that we really should need it, it should be straightforward. We are at the Warren House Inn, I'm going to go up over, follow this path, blah 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 blah, and hit Family Reservoir. So, not too far. What's that? Uh, one, two, three, three and a half kilometres there or something. Oh, by the way, look, world's smallest screw. Um, but quite handy as a point now. Right, so I will uh, shoot off now, get ready, and uh, get walking. setting off now. A little bit chilly but not too bad. Nice and fresh, eh? One day, I think I might pick a walk, it doesn't start with a hill. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We should be planning a little bit better in the future, shall we? Right, in a bit. So yeah, not sure exactly of the temperature, but just to show you it is a bit chilly. We actually have ice. <laughs> so yeah, not that warm, but not too bad. Just coming up now, probably just about to make out. We've got a cairn there. Once we get out there, we should be able to see Fernworthy, which is also our destination for today. So, first hill. Topped out um, at a staggering 489 metres, according to the map. So uh, yeah, we're reaching for the sky. Not quite Everest, but um, hey, there we go. So, that is Fernworthy Plantation, I believe it's called. Um, and on the other side of that is Fernworthy Reservoir. On the other side, kind of in amongst it, at uh, the back end. There's a track uh, there, kind of thing. Might be able to see. Basically, just going to follow that all the way. So, uh, lots of icy puddles. Um, walk is not the wrong start, moist. Uh, it's always beautiful. You don't have to look around any direction. I mean, There's something to look at, but as far as the path goes, uh, Massive thing, exciting or uh, worth noting about it, but I think I'm going to walk along this path, like I said, to actually get to the, uh, to the reservoir. We have a little bit of something to eat there, and then on the way back, say, so found my big plantation is great. But it makes me fair, I don't know, I guess it's two and a half, three kilometres long, maybe something like that, full of like a maze of paths. So I think we'll walk back that way. Um, make it a little bit more interesting, eh? Something different. Quick note, um, like I said, it, this is literally a maze where we signposted. Chance of getting lost here are pretty slim, I'd say. But, just, you know, just a bit of practice. Um, it's always nice to look, look at the map, take time, look at the map. You know, because if you, you do it on easy stuff, when it's like this, then when it really matters, when you are actually lost or a little bit off route, you're confident with the map. So, I've just had a quick look here. I know that I've just come down 
off of the high point there. Contour's saying that's 470 meters. And over there is um, an, a rise up on the edge of the woodland plantation. I know by the map that there is a track that goes into the woods, into the reservoir, pretty much on top of that hill, that high point. So I've got something to aim for. And I say, just a bit of practice. Uh, never had to do a bit of practice. Don't be overconfident. It's just uh, starting to rain. I'm going to take a shower, nothing too bad. So you have to stop and put the jacket on. There's another thing to say as well is people will be like, oh, yeah, yeah, breathe it out, be all manly and everything, get wet. Be stupid. If you can keep yourself dry, keep yourself dry for the sake of two minutes putting the jacket on, even if you take it on and off a few times. If you stay dry, you stay warm, uh, especially if you're out for a little while, like, you know? Oh, sorry, just gotta jump over this bog. Oh, there we go. So we've, uh, we've took a bit of a fork in the path, uh, heading towards that um, high ground that I mentioned earlier, which is, we're pretty much there now. So hopefully, if my map reading's right, then we should get a path going into the plantation. Then not too much further to the reservoir, really. Um, it's a good job we can cut through, because <laughs> there's cows up there as well. I don't know if you're aware, cows, nah, not a big fan of them. Uh, not unless a sandwich between two of bread with some cheese and barbecue sauce, and then I'm a big fan of cows. Why, why leave one of them, Note No to all you farmers. You've got fields with fences and walls, and surely the sole purpose of that is to contain your animals. So why let them go out on the moors? Use your fields, stop being selfish farmers. Cheers. So, I've reached that bit of high ground, just on a little sheep trail. I don't know if we can make it out, but there is a gate and a path into the woods, which is really good because that saved me looking silly and like I can't read a map. So, yeah, we're there, we're there at the path now. Um, I think we'll stop and uh, have a look at the map when we get there. I'll probably just show you what I mean about a little bit of maze of path in there. So yeah, just got into the woods. I just thought I'd show you what it means. So we've come from Warren House Inn. We've followed this path all the way up through, branched off here somewhere over, and then into this path here. So that's where we are now, but uh, obviously we're going to the reservoir, but you see what I mean about the paths? They zigzag here, there, everywhere. What? <laughs> When the first person made that path, what were they thinking? Were they maybe a little bit too much vodka? Um, but personally, I'd like to come straight by and bring back the Romans, I say, bring back the Romans. Right, I'll uh, mostly look through for the woods and see you at the reservoir. It's uh, warmed up a bit now. No hat, no gloves, uh, which is a bonus. Um, so yeah, it's safe just walking through the forest, you can see that it is, I uh, thought, it's like fast growing softwood, pine or something along those lines. Pretty much purely for forestry um, rather than anything else. You can see even this road that I'm on now, say, like I said earlier, there's a maze of them. They're all full vehicles, I'm assuming forestry vehicles. But yeah, say so it's not, not the most exciting woodland, but still nice, still nice. Right, I will actually catch you at the reservoir this time. So oh, just uh, walking down the path there, seen some stones, I look on a map and look, a little stone circle. How cool is that? I've actually ordered a book on stone circles at Dartmoor and yeah, another little one over there. Um, so hopefully that will be soon and we can read up a little bit more about them because they are pretty bloody interesting to be fair. So yeah, cool stone circle. And you probably can't quite make it out but just about, maybe. Uh, there's a reservoir, the other side of those trees. So, let's get cracking. We are at the reservoir, from our reservoir. Dam's just up there. Um, but I think we're gonna go 
up this road, uh, Sandeman Bridge, something like that, I think it's called. Go up there, have something to eat there, hopefully, there's a nice little spot. And then further over in the woods, uh, in the distance over there, uh, Matt says there's some cairns and some more stone circles, so I'm going to have a little look at those. Alright, in a bit. Been walking on that road for 200 metres and bored already. I hate walking on the road. See, people do it all the time. Why are you on Dartmoor? It's just walking on the road. Just walking around the city. It's just tarmac. It's exactly the same. So, anyway, just found a little style which looks like we can follow a little path down, hopefully, to the edge of the reservoir, which should be a bit of a nicer walk. So, just gone past Sandyman Bridge and follow this road up a little bit more. Should be a track going up towards those cairns and that that I mentioned earlier, uh, hopefully. Plus, I'm absolutely starving down at Bracky this morning, so I think pretty soon uh, I'll find someone to stop and get some grub. So, we have found our stone circle we were looking for. Um, it's pretty cool one, actually, to be fair. Just in the middle of the forest here. So, I think. That's going to be a lovely little spot for something to eat. All right, let's go in and find the perch. So after looking into it, I found this uh, stone circle. It was uncovered in uh, 1898. 20-odd um, metres wide, 27 stones. But what always gets me, I don't know if it, uh, it's the same happens to you, but the imagination starts to run a bit wild. You start to imagine it back when it was actually in use. Um, you know, just imagine that, some big cauldron in the middle, witches and people dancing around the edge, and then some poor unfortunate soul getting sacrificed probably, but uh, that's uh, that's not historically correct, can I just add, but it's, uh, it's cool to think, cool to think. Amazing, lunch is literally just cooked and it's starting to rain. So, we won't have a lunch in the stone circle. We're going to pick up the jet boat uh, there somewhere um, and head off, try and get a bit of cover in the woods and uh, eat a Lancashire hot pot boiled in the bag, which I'm very much looking forward to. Carried a jack boil over. Obviously, it's like the rain in some circle. So, yeah, nice fallen tree, bit of shelter, and <sighs> Lancashire hot pot. Happy days. All right, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll, uh, we'll get walking again. <sighs> Tidied up, fed, and oh my god, I highly recommend Lancashire hot pot boiling back. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I think we'll start heading back now, heading back to the van. Should be fine living on the way, but probably just a nice little walk. So, I've just uh, kind of backtracked a little bit, went down to Sandman Bridge again and now forked off into the woods, different path than we took here. It becomes that similar place. Um, and not too far, back across a bit of open moorland and back to the van and maybe even the pub. We'll see. All right, so back at the can. What a far summit today. And the last, so we'll just get up here, literally down the hill on the other side. And we're back to the van or at the pub, um, should I say, but we might nip in there. We'll see. All right, catch you back at the pub. So, um, that video, you probably know it's got cut a little bit short there. Um, unfortunately, uh, amateur that I am, didn't uh, <laughs> didn't charge the phone enough. It was only filmed on the phone there. So, um, just to let you know, we did end up in the pub. I keep saying we. Why do I keep saying we? It's there by myself. But anyway, we, me, uh, ended up in the pub. Um, quick shandy, obviously, was driving, so couldn't really, uh, couldn't really stop too long. Lovely little pub, the Warren House Inn. Highly recommend it. Um, some cool little stories about that. Um, like, for instance, there's a fire there that's not been out since, I think it's 1500 and something. Apparently never, ever been put out. 
Um, but yeah, saying that most little walk, most little walk. All right, catch you again soon. Cheers.